criminal, uh, criminal, you know, criminal, deliverance of criminal, deliverance of dream criminals, deliverance of dream criminals and the contamination. How people are being contaminated, polluted, defiled by these criminal dreams. And I'm going to read from the book of Matthew 13, verse 24 to 25. The book of Matthew 24-25. Deliverance of dream criminals and contamination. And the book I'm going to read to you is the book of Matthew 24. Matthew 13, verse 24 to 25. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Matthew 13, verse 24 to 25. The Bible says, Another parable put it to forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sow a good seed in his field. A man sow a good seed in his field. Verse 25. But while men sleep, his enemy came and sowed tears upon the wheat and went his way. This is the problem. While men sleep, an enemy come and sow sickness, diseases, poverty, problem. When while men sleep, when, while you are in deep sleep, that is when criminals comes and plan evil against your life. According to this passage, the enemy waited until the men who were supposed to be watching the field were asleep before the enemy saw terrors in, the, in, in his field. The time most people are asleep is at night. The time most people sleep is at night. Many times evil is done to many people's life at night time. Especially between the hours of 12 midnight and 3 a.m. That's why we have prayers midnight. This midnight is very important because this is the time when the enemy comes and plant seed and plant sickness and attack people and, and destroy them and pollute them. So we, 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 were to, we have seen here clearly the Bible is talking about what men sleep, what happened to them. An enemy comes. That's why I'm talking to you. Dream of uh, deliverance of dream criminals. This, this is criminal. Why do the enemy wait until you sleep? And then it's coming to, to do things while you are not aware, when you are deep sleep. And the Bible also talks that God reveals things while you are deep sleep. So the enemy is always a counterfeit. He copes things of God. Now, because God talks in the dream while men sleep, now the enemy also comes to people while people are sleeping to attack them. Unfortunately, because many people are ignorant of spiritual warfare, they thank God they thank God it was just a dream and they go back to sleep. What they did not know is that it was not just a dream. It was a revelation of what is going to happen and what is against the life. Yes, you know, some people they are very ignorant. They, they have no idea about their dreams. Some, they just say it was just a, a dream. And they dream that because of that, then the enemy celebrate and say thank you thank you very much i want people like you the best action a dreamer can take is to spend some time in a prayer to use the revelation to destroy the the terrors so in his field if action is not taken the enemy can have his way as long as he chooses thank you very much I would pray for you if you are not dreaming or if you have bad dreams. This is the time that I would pray for you. 
and he has a very serious dream. We saw people who have very bad dreams, and the Lord would deliver them. I want you to pray these prayer points before I go far. Before I go, I want you to pray. When you have a, a negative or a warfare dream, it's significant either what it, it, it takes place, what takes place or what your enemy are planning against your life. All of these cases require that you, your prayer, you pray against what was revealed to you in your dreams. All this is to pray what has revealed it to you in your dreams. Because we, we have seen an enemy comes while you are sleeping. Just because you have negative dream about someone do not mean that the negative things you saw has to happen. For example, if you dream that somebody died, it doesn't mean that, that they have to die. It doesn't mean the person is going to die. God is just alerting you to the plans of the enemy so you can stand in the gap of the person you saw in the dream. When you see somebody like is dead, it's not that the person is going to die. The Lord is, he wants you to stand in the gap of that person. Some things, is everything in his, his, his life is dead. Everything he can't do anything. That is in another way, in a spiritual realm, in a spiritual way is is. It's like everything this person is doing is dead. For example, you can see people are trying, working very hard, trying to do this and this, but nothing is coming. Everything is dead. That's when people see you in the dream that you are dead. When they see you, you are dead, it means that everything you are doing is dead. You cannot achieve anything. You try this, nothing is coming. So everything is dead. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. If you would pray against the plan of the enemy, the person would not die. Many ignorant Christians have become messenger of dreams. Doom. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Many times God allows you to see the evil coming against someone so that you can pray and fast if needed to be stopped by evil from happening in the life of the person. Some people, they have dreams about other people. God always give dreams. God always give dreams to people. And the people, because they don't know what they do, they don't know about what to do about it, they just ignore it and continue with their life. Now God is asking you to pray, even to fast and pray to, to this individual. When you see, not having a dream at all, always forgetting your dreams is an attack against you. Listen this. This is what I want everyone to understand this. Not having a dream, not, have, not, not, not having dream, dreams at all, or always forgetting your dreams is an attack against you. If the, if, 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 if the, means God used many times to put to, to tip you for enemies. Plans is blocking. How will you know what is going on against you so you can pray against it? If it is your problem, please pray against the demonic, demonic attack working against your dream. You pray demonic attack against your dream. It's very dangerous when you are not dreaming at all. Or always you forget your dreams. That is you are in a huge attack. So you pray that the Lord, you pray that, that, that you pray against your dream. There is a prayer point I want to give you. And you pray, let me know how you go. Please let, call me and I want to help you to activate your dreams. If you are a person who forgets dreams or you don't dream at all. This is the prayer point I want to show you. The prayer point, you only pray. You pray like this. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, fall upon my dream. My dream life, catch fire. You pray, Holy Ghost, fall upon my dream. My dream life, catch fire. My dream life, catch fire. You pray that. You just don't pray any other prayer. Just, you can stay even one hour. Just pray two prayer points or one prayer point. The one I'm saying. 
You pray, my dream life, receive fire. My dream life, receive fire. Holy Ghost, part my dream in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fall upon my dream. Holy Ghost, fall upon my dream. My dream life, receive fire. Because the enemy knows that if you remember your dream, you, you will know what God is telling you or a warning. So he makes sure that you don't remember your dream or you don't dream at all. Because that is an, a huge attack. You pray my dream life, receive fire. You pray Holy Ghost fall upon me. That is the, the, the prayer point you can pray over your dreams. There, is, there was a, a period in your life when, when you are intensive warfare. When that was not any vision manifested in your physical, in your life, I pray that God Almighty, let God arise and his enemy be scattered. I pray that God will give you a dream, the dream that will prosper you, not the dream to destroy your life, not the dream of the enemy. The Lord Almighty will give you the dream in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The dreams, the, 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 there are some dreams like sex or intercourse in dreams. Some, some of you, you had this. Some people, they enjoy, they say that's good. But it's not good. This is a very common warfare dream. But since most people find it embarrassing, they usually would not talk about it. They are too spirited. The enemy sent against men and women in their dreams. The first is known as spirit husband and another one is known as uh, spirit wife when this comes in the marriage whether you like it or not the marriage will not stand you know the bible says worry men sleeps the enemy comes and plan a terror terror can be spirit husband our spirit a man who comes to sleep with you in the dream or a wife come to sleep with men so when this man has these demons assigned at night to come and have sex with them, then the life of these people will never be the same. If you are not prayer very, very well, or if you cannot pray very, very hard, even prayer and fasting, your marriage will not stand. Even not your marriage, you cannot be married. If they will block your marriage, and they will make sure that they are dominating, they are taking over. That's why... These criminal dreams must die in the name of Jesus. They contaminate your body. When you had this spirit husband or spirit wife, they contaminate you. You are dirty. And God does not use a dirty person, a contamination person. The demon has inflicted, has, has put a lot of demon, has, has put a lot of demon in your body. So now your body is defiled, is polluted, contamination. Now God can, cannot use such a body like that. That's why you know you are the temple of God, where the Holy Spirit lives. Because the devil knows you are the temple of God, that's why he comes in a, in a way while you are sleeping, to defile you, to make sure that you are not a holy temple of God. That's when, when they defile you, now they get a way of infecting you with any sickness or diseases. They may even come as a person of same sex, unless you wake up and wage a serious spiritual warfare, one or all the, you must wake up. Sometimes they come same sex, a woman, a woman to woman, a man to man. That is how they come. Or sometimes you find yourself, you, you, you are yourself, turn to be a man. Those are demonic. Some people, they, they call me and tell me the dreams that I hear. I, I sometimes, I, I get shocked. You find yourself, you are a woman turning to be a man, and you are sleeping with a woman. Or sometimes you find you are doing those evil dreams that the enemy has planned in, your, in you while you are sleeping. So what you, you, you wake up, you find that when these things happen to you, I'm telling you, difficult getting married, difficult marital problem, difficult getting pregnant, difficult in the area of finances, when this spirit comes, you don't have to joke with them. They, they will come and, and take everything you have. They will even take the position of our children. They, you, they cannot allow you to, be, to, to get children. 
your finances they will take they will take that's why when you have this uh, spirit husband don't choke with this spirit they are very jealous they take everything from you they make sure that you are you are a trader you are completely finished dreams that result in affection with the spirit of poverty there are so many people today suffering serious real oppression from the spirit of poverty usually people are are tapped off in the dreams but because of lack of knowledge nothing is done until manifestation take place if you find yourself in in the in the following situation in your dream you need to start praying against the spirit of poverty possession of counter possessing of counterfeit money wallet stolen from you possession of counterfeit money wallet stolen from you wearing red, red, red shoes with the holes wearing shoes with the holes that that is a very serious poverty acid poverty that has been formed into your life the criminal dream criminals they come to you and you see yourself wearing uh shoes with holes begging for money food extra loose of cash wallet checkbook or check pay bank door closed in your face when you go you when you enter to the bank the bank is closed on your face when you dream those dreams you must go pray and fasting you pray you don't joke with these prayers those dreams possessing of counterfeit money wallet wallet stolen from you your bag has been stolen wallet has been stolen from you that's why last night was saying that when you see these things a thief you have to arrest the thief you don't have to joke because poverty whether you like it or not some of you you've been dreaming these dreams if you if you don't remember the dream came to you like you are wearing your shoes with the hole or you are begging money or you have seen coin coins in your hand or maybe uh you, you the door has been closed behind you those are very serious poverty the enemy has planned in your life yes nakedness in dreams you see yourself naked if you find yourself naked in a dream and you you, you are you, you you wonder you are just you you are supposed to wear clothes but you see yourself naked uh naked the enemy is about to bring embarrassment and disgrace unto your life that is disgrace and embarrassment they will disgrace you they will you know people are being disgraced and embarrassed you don't think that these things is, is easy a man went to the, to the, to the went to the room a, 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 a man it, it was a man who who never even he didn't have, have anything or affairs of anybody he went to the hotel and the book is a room and he slept there now he didn't have any idea but he forgot his watch in the bathroom and then he decided to go back to get this watch when he went to the room he found the the, the room was open so he entered there without no he, he locked the door and entered there then he found a a, a a cleaner how do you call it those people are cleaning the rooms yeah there's a name a housekeeper yes housekeeper was there this woman housekeeper she was there and the man asked him, did you see my watch here? The woman said, yes. The watch, I saw the watch in the table, but the woman was cleaning in the bathroom. No, he was cleaning, she was cleaning in the bathroom. Now, when this man asked her if she has seen the watch, the woman said, yes, the watch is just there. Let me go and give you. Then, then, then the man, because the man didn't have an idea that the woman has some evil th things. And remember, the man had a dream that he was naked. But he didn't know what to do about it but now this woman told the man that uh, yes the watch is here come and get it the man went and get the, the grab the watch from the hands of the woman immediately that woman grabbed the man and started crying and started shouting that the man is raping raping the woman 
and the woman stripped naked and hold this man. The man said, no, 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 no. What are you doing to me? Why are you doing like this? Why are you doing like this? The woman said, you came, when you, when you saw me, you came to rape me after you, you, are, you, you are back to your staff, you are leaving. When you, you came back to rape me. That it was a very serious case and it was, the man was, the police came and the man was arrested and it was so commotion and tension. So the man, his flight was cancelled. He didn't go. They had to shut him out. It was embarrassed. It was really shame and disgrace. And this man had a dream that he was naked. So if he knew, if he knew what to do, he could cancel that dream and, and command them to be destroyed in Jesus' name. And if, if he had an idea about that dream, even he could not ask the lady to give the watch, he could go to the account, to the account, to the boss and said, I have forgotten my watch and I, I, can somebody go and get my watch? So because of conviction, the enemy wanted to destroy his life, embarrassed and, and, and disgrace him. That's how the man ended up in, in, in police. He was embarrassed and the man was a, a, an officer, government top officer. And, thing, and you know the media are there to report and said so-so was found a raping a woman. By the time this man was clean his name, it was, he was embarrassed and even ending up losing his job. That was disgrace and embarrassment. That's how it is. So you find that uh, there's some, some, there's some diddy, diddy, diddy dreams that you need to take, uh, to take care and go to pray and fasting. Because uh, the, God always wants people. They, uh, you have seen the book that the, 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 the word of God says that when man sleeps, an enemy comes. This is what is happening in the New Testament. People are suffering, people are getting sickness and infirmities because they have no idea about their dreams. If you dream, you wake up and you come up very aggressive. You bind the spirit of that dream. You cancel them, you condemn them. Yes, dreams that indicate witchcraft activate, activates. Witchcraft activity, activities. Dreams that indicate witchcraft activities. Being pursued by mentor, by mental person, attacked by dangerous animals. When you are being attacked by dangerous animals, those are witchcraft, witchcraft activities. Being shot with a gun or arrow in a dream. When you are shot with arrow in the dream, that is witchcraft. And they will shoot you. That's when you hear people, I was praying with a lady. I hope my sister, Dr. Juma, is in the, in the, is in the right here, in the periscope. Yesterday, the, this lady called me. She was from work. She's a teacher. And she felt something on her body, a light hand from, from, to, through the chest. She was having pains, very pain. She had a pain. She could not stand. She could not sit. She could not do anything. Now the pain was very, very, very serious. Then she called me like she's crying. She was suffering with that pain. She could not do anything. The pain was very, very, very strong towards her heart. One side the legs and towards her heart. That is how the enemy shoot straight to her heart. That, that's if, if, it, if she didn't call me or if she didn't, if she didn't do anything about it, that's what to call it at attack or stroke it comes like that when you had dreams that somebody is shooting you or you have been having dream of shooting that is how people die some people they were well they go to work they, they were doing things well then you find somebody is dead that is heart attack they call it heart attack that's that's witchcraft arrow when they shoot you they send you a, a arrow the arrow will come straight to to your heart and you will die therefore I pray that every witchcraft uh, harrow that is shoot in your heart, let it go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bats, bats, bats like B-A-T-S, they are usually indicated the hypocrisy are going to be set loose against you. When you see these, these night birds, the, 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 the one flying at night in, the, in your dreams, it means 
that they indicate that the hypocrisy are going to be set before set loose against you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Cobwebs and spiders, they are another Aruhim, favorite point of witchcraft. When you see in the dreams, cobwebs and spiders, this and this other, this Aruhim, you know, Aruhim favorite. Why do the Aruhim always they use spider cobwebs in their activities when they are doing? These are this other Aruhim favorite point to point of contact to witchcraft activities. It is not usual for such a dreams to wake up and 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 run and do the combo up every day when you see this you bind them you destroy them you set fire because the bible says let the witch not to suffer you command the fire of god to consume them and bind them i know some of you, you are writing them and these things are in my book so get me your, your email i'm going to send those people who have sent me the email i'm um, after finishing this I was, you will get your book. It is an it's email book, ebook. So you will get it. Dream study indicates attacks of of providence and the confusion confused life. You are doing things providence and the confused. Sometimes you find you are so confused in life, traveling but not reaching your destiny. This when you drive like you are traveling, you dream that you are walking but you don't reach any destiny, yeah? You, you never reach. It means that you are doing zero work. Driving in a fork, in a crowd of dust. You are driving, you see fox and dry, and, and, and a crowd of dust. That is, you are so confused, and you are doing the zero work. You have to pray against this. Dreams that indicate warfare delay. Waiting for a bus, tax, ship, train, airplane, air, any, any mode of transportation that never come. Traveling in traffic hold you. Those are zero work. They are warfare delay. They delay everything you are doing. Give me hearts. I want you to give me hearts. Thank you very much. The videos will come up and you can listen it very, very well. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, help us. You see, people, they dream, but they have no idea what they mean. Sometimes, you see, dreams that indicate warfare of delay. That, these are the dreams some people, they dream, waiting for a pass, tax, ship, train, airplane, or any mode of transportation that never comes. Traveling in a traffic hold hub. You see, you are in the traffic, and the traffic is holding you. That is delay. The enemy of your delay. They are there to delay you. Something takes you two hours, it will take one week. Something takes you one month, it takes it takes people even years. That is how that's how bad it is. That's why you need to know some of the dreams and you come against even if you don't know the meaning of the dreams, wake up and bind them, cancel them, destroy them. The dreams of from God you know is a good dreams. For example, when Solomon had a dream, the dreams was the dream of prosperity and wisdom and knowledge. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share with you this dream from the book of, uh, let me see, First King, First King 3, First King 3, verse 5. When good dreams always you will feel is good. But the bad dreams, satanic dream, you wake up when you are terrifying, you fear, you, you are shocked. So a lady called me. She was calling me crying. She had a dream that the husband has passed. And the husband is dead. So this, she saw the husband is dead. Now she, was, she thought this is really. She, because of that, the enemy uh, bring conviction and terrifying her. Now she thought it is true. She didn't know that it was a dream. And this is the meaning, the, the meaning, it, it, she didn't know the meaning. She thought it is a really thing that the husband is dead. Now she called me crying. She could not even explain to me what, what it was it. She said, I had that dream. My husband, my, she was crying. She was confused. And she felt it is really, really, it is happening. So I told her, calm down. 
The dream of your husband dead is not him, is not dead. It's everything he does is dead. So that's why God is showing you to pray for him and he does it even to pray for fasting and prayer. That is terrifying dreams. Now, when you, 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 you have dreams, don't worry about it. Wake up and bind it. But a good dreams, you, you feel calm, you feel good. You say, let it prosper, let it come. Look at this. In the, in the, in the first king, 3 verse 5, the Bible said, In Capion, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, Ask what I should give. I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast sold unto the servant David my father great mercy according as he walked before thee in truth and in, in, in the righteous and up, upright, uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept, kept for him his great kindness that thou had given him a son to sit on his throne. And now, O oh Lord, my God, thou hast made the servant a king instead of David, my father. And I am, I am but a little child. I know not to go out of, out or come in. I know not to go out or come in. And the servant is in the midst of the people which thou had chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered nor count, count for multitude. Give the, therefore the servant an understand heart to charge the, the people that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thou so great people? And the, and the speech pleaded the Lord that Solomon had asked these things. The Bible says, And God said unto him, Because thou had asked these things, and thou not ask for thus long life, neither had asked riches for thyself, nor has asked the life of the enemies, but has asked for the self-understanding to decide judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a, wish, a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thou, Either after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I have also give thee the, that which thou had not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all the days. Now, you see, when Solomon dreamed, Solomon had a dream at night, then he was speaking to God himself. And, and he said what he wanted. So some dreams are good. God can come and you talk to God in dreams. Now this man, this young man, he became a king. And he didn't have wisdom how, how to, to do things. He doesn't know good or bad. So he asked God, God, give me wisdom so that I can, do, I can know how to do judgment. And he didn't ask anything. He really wanted understanding and wisdom. Then the Lord granted him wisdom, and he said, because you didn't ask me money, now I'm giving you a gift of money, and you will never be like, you are, You will be different from any other kings in, in, in Israel. So now this dream came to Daniel, no, not Daniel, Solomon. Even Daniel has his dream too. But this was a prosperity uh, dream. yeah. And that is why the enemy is against this. And that's why you need to, when you, before you go to sleep, if you have very bad dreams, you always been attacked in the dreams. You see animals, you see dogs barking against you. Those are the witchcraft dreams. Those are the evil dreams. Those are criminal dreams. You command them, you criminal dreams coming to my life while I'm sleeping, I take authority over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cancel you, I destroy you. Then God will help you. God will take them away. Then you will start having a, a, a good dreams that will prosper you. Dream of direction. Dream that will, uh, will make you, will give you the right direction. Because you cannot be dreaming all these criminal dreams all the time. Many people who are suffering with sickness and diseases, 
poverty, all this disgrace, embarrassment, all this, it is criminal, it is dream criminals. But you have to stand against those criminal, dream criminals and command them to die in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I can go on and on. There are a lot. There are a lot of them. So I want to pray. I want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray. There are so many. I want to pray that God will deliver you in the name of Jesus. If I start them, I can't finish them. That's why you need this book to help you. You can do by yourself. You pray like every satanic bondage from evil dreams programmed unto my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. You command every satanic bondage from your evil dreams. Every satanic sickness from, from the evil dreams. You command them to die. You said, I, I take authority against you evil dreams. Against satanic dreams, against witchcraft dreams, you name it, you name it. Then you command them, I bind you, I cast you, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Then you pray, I, I command you, you will not manifest in my life. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You tell the devil like that. When you wake up, you command the devil. You memorize Psalms 91. You say that the Lord Almighty will protect you. Remember this, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Because now, many people, the weapon has prosper. That's why you are in that position. Poverty is a weapon of the devil as prosper in your life. You become poor because of this. That is a weapon. So the weapon of the devil has been working in your life. So when you know how to do these prayers, it will not work because the Bible says no weapon will prosper. But now some people, the weapon of poverty is there. Sickness is another one. Weapon of the devil has put into your life. So it is prosper in your life. So you stand against them. You command, you remind the devil, devil, listen me, hear me very well. The Bible tells me, my father has promised me. Therefore, every dream that came to me, you, you dream criminal, hear the word of God. I destroy you. You will not manifest in my life. You command the devil like that. I pray that God Almighty will deliver you from these criminal dreams, from evil dreams, from satanic dreams, dreams in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind and destroy every satanic dream that came to you while you are sleeping in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You, you pray every dream prison break. Sometimes when you dream that you are handicapped, you are in chains, you saw people, you saw gunmen or police putting chains on you. You commanded a very satanic prison dream in my life. Get out in the name of Jesus. Sometimes you 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 can you had a dream about dogs beating you, dogs packing against you. You you come against those animals. You command them to die. You say, hear the word of God, animals. I know you said you are a witchcraft animals. You come to divide my body, to, de to de pollute me. I am at the temple of God. Therefore, I'm standing against you by the power in the blood of Jesus. I destroy you. I bind you. I command the fire of God to kill you instantly in Jesus' name. You, you command them, I. If you had a, a, a dream of some other people, you pray for them, you mention their names. So you have to destroy the dreams. You turn up to choke with any dreams from the, de from the kingdom of darkness. Criminal dreams, you don't have to joke with them because they are dangerous. They are coming to destroy your life. They are coming to kill you. So therefore, you stand against them. But the dream of God like this one Solomon had. Solomon had a, a dream of prosperity, a dream of wisdom and understanding. So you thank God and you say, God, thank you. This is how God can talk to you. Now, the, the, the criminal, the devil is, a, is a, an enemy, is a great enemy. He's a thief. He come and steal the, the good dreams and repress his evil dreams to you. The devil, the devil Satan is a thief, is a criminal. That's why he takes good dreams and repress evil dreams. Even shut your brain that you cannot be able to dream again. He, he confuses you. He makes sure that you are confused. You don't understand your dreams or you are ignorant. That's, what, that's how it works. Therefore, people of God, I'm standing against every satanic dream that came to you while you are sleeping in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy them by fire. I command them to die. 
and I command the fire of God to consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can pray like this. Every satanic dream, I command you to go back to the sender. Send those dreams back to the owner. Say, tell them that you, the owner of this dream, came to me. I am because you know the enemy came and planned. You eat the enemy. They are enemy who came. So when this enemy, you command them to take their dreams. I command you to take your dreams in Jesus' name. Take your dreams. I command you to go back to the sender. Every satanic dream, go back to the sender. I destroy you. I bind you. I render you powerless. You will not manifest in my life. You will not function in my life. You cannot manifest. You cannot. You command them. You, 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 rem you remember Psalms 27. You pray Psalms 27. You pray Psalms 91. You pray that, that, that Isaiah 15, 57. You pray no weapon formed against me. You pray Isaiah 50, 59. You pray that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You remind the devil what God has said to you. So you make sure that you don't have to cry. Don't be scared. Calm down. You dream. Your head is still thinking how that terrible the dream is. Daniel, a man of God who was interpreting the dreams. When he had this uh, crippled, this is a very, uh, uh, very bad dream. He was terrifying. He feared. He could not think of anything. He had, he had to lay down. He was fear so much. He didn't know what to do. Until the angel Gabriel came to interpret, tell, tell him the meaning of the dream. Yeah? Sometimes there's terrifying dreams, but the dreams which can prosper. The dreams that would, would not prosper, sometimes they can terrify you. Yeah? If you look at Daniel 8, Daniel 7, 7, Daniel 7 and Daniel 8, you will see Daniel had dreams. Different dreams, the, the, the chapter 7 and chapter 8. You can see Daniel had the dreams, and Daniel is the one who interpreted the dream of Nebuchadnezzar, the king who had the dreams. It's Daniel, but now when his dreams came, he was not able to interpret his own dream. But he had to pray, and also he was, he, he, he was shocked. He was terrified. Even Peter, when he was given a, a dream about the animals, Peter says, we don't eat the animals. In the dream, he is fishing. God was telling him, kill these animals and eat. But, but, but Peter told God, God, I don't eat these animals. It is you who said that we don't have to eat such animals. What, how is it that you are, you, are, you are giving me these animals to eat? And then God has to negotiate with Peter to Peter to understand. So that, that these animals are good animals, they are not unclean animals. That's why when you come to get a dream, you don't talk with the dream. If it is a good dream, let it prosper. If it is evil dream, let it die in the name of Jesus. Command that dream to die by fire and be destroyed. When Peter negotiated with God, he said, God, I can't eat these animals. We are not allowed to eat. God, God told me. You know, you are prayed and you are, it is blessed. So eat. Yeah? Because now you don't know the dream you dream. It is a satanic dream or it's a warning or it's a blessing dream. Because you, you have no understanding. Talk to God. Say God. But the evil one you will know. The good one you will also know. Say whether it is good or bad. If this dream has come from you, God, let it prosper. If this dream has come from the enemy, I destroy them. You destroy them. You use the power. You use the fire. You use every word. That's why you need to follow me so that I can give you the prayer point.